303 Analysis on Overdue Loans. Here we have a table, it's a pipe table, and group by the uh, overdue days. Uh, for example, 1 to 30, 31 to 60. And each month, how many loan number here? And the sum of the amount. And then we will use this information uh, to insert a chart. And this chart is a very special. It's a combination of column and uh, line chart, like this. Why we need uh, such kind of a combination chart? That because this number compared to the amount, this, sum of the amount, you will see it's a very small and it's a big number. So if you don't use a, a different kind of chart, they, uh, then this uh, number won't be seen. Okay, so let's start this spatial uh, chart. The first question I uh, would like to insert the chart uh, would be a new worksheet uh, based on this uh, pivot table. So first uh, we need to highlight this uh, pivot table. Then I will use the insert in the chart. Uh, first uh, we will set up this is a column chart. So I will use the first one, a uh, cluster column chart. That's because here Later, we still need to use this column. Okay, so I will back here. Um, I hope this is a new uh, uh, worksheet, so you can come back here and move this chart uh, to a new, and uh, given a name, it's a chart of analysis. Okay, now you can see this uh, chart. We should have uh, uh, two different colored uh, data. It's a long number and the sum of the amount, but you don't see any uh, blue color, just the uh, red one. That's because the long number is a small number. It would be laid down on the axis. Okay, so actually you won't see that unless you change this uh, to be the uh, combination chart. And this combination chart would be use the line chart and the column chart. Uh, let's back find out this. And here we will use the line with the marker for the long number and the cluster column for the sum of the amount. Now our sum amount already is a cluster a column. We need to select the long number uh, to change this to be the line. But it's not easy to uh, select, so I decided to start the uh, second question first. The second question would like to uh, use a different uh, um, axis uh, for the different number. For example, uh, we will call this um, here. We will call this is a primary key, uh, primary axis, and this is a secondary axis. Uh, we will change this primary uh, axis uh, for the loan number and the secondary axis for the sum amount. Okay, so here, uh, that's a question. Here, for the second question, uh, your amount corresponding to the secondary uh, axis, that means this one. And the uh, loan number will be the primary axis. Okay, how we do this? Uh, you can choose this, uh, this any uh, sum of amount and the right a click and go there the for main data series and look the first series option, uh, plot your series on where. Uh, because I just choose the red one is a sum of amount. So I would, we would like to change this to be the secondary axis. Look here. And after you change this one, and you will find out another series already show up. That's for the long number. Okay, I can close it. And look, you can see the blue color. And then choose your blue color because you want to change this to be the uh, line with a marker. And come back to the uh, pivot chart tool here. I have a, a design. Uh, first uh, is to change your chart type. And, uh, and this is a line, but not with a marker. 
How about this? Yeah, line with markers. Okay. And look, this blue chart is uh, for the loan number, and is plotted at the uh, primary axis. And the red color is for the sum of the amount, as the group for the uh, secondary axis. And it's a, a cluster colon. Okay, so now we finish the first and the second question. And the third question, I uh, would like to set up the data label for the uh, column chart. It should be at the outside of the end point. Okay, so uh, we will back to the uh, uh, fire and uh, select the column chart and go back to the layout. Here I have a labels, and I will select the data labels, and uh, it should be at the outside end. Or maybe you can get inside there and choose uh, yeah, that's the outside end. Okay, close it and see that's the data label uh, for the each column. And number four, I uh, would like uh, uh, change the position of this legend. That means this one. And on the bottom of the chart. Okay, so we're back here. Uh, here we can come back to the uh, layout again, and the labels here I have a legend. And we can change this because you want to show legend at the bottom. Okay, after you change this, the, that's a legend. And number five, we like uh, Hide the fill button. Uh, that means all this button. Why we have a button? Uh, the normal chart actually don't have the such kind of button. This is a spatial. This chart coming from the uh, paper table. So actually, it's a kind of paper uh, chart. In the paper chart, we can have uh, some button uh, for you to select the data you want to show up. And right now, I need to hide it. So I will back to the uh, fire, and look, that's it, all right? And here we have a, a four label, and last one, to analyze. And look, that's a fill button, and you can just click it. Then look, all the buttons have been hide. And next time, if you need this button, you can click one more time. And what's the button used for? For example, I want looking for the uh, NPR days, it's for only the Maybe some, uh, not all. I can select some uh, period. Okay, then look, that would be the difference. Okay, and you will see here I have a filter. Then next, maybe you can clear this uh, filter. Okay, so right now I need to hide it. Click it. All right. And the last question, I would like at the uh, title. The chart title is a chart for the overdue loans at the top. Okay, so the chart would be at the chart title would be at the uh, layout one more time. And here we have a chart title. It's above the uh, chart. Then I will highlight this chart title is a uh, uh, chart for overdue loans. And then we need a, a size is a, a 18 points and the blue and the ball. Okay, so highlight this one. Go back to the home tab, and it should be the 18. But right now it's already 18, and it should be the blue. Okay, I'll change the color to be the blue, and already bored, so don't change that. Okay, look at the sample. Now we finish this question.